guys. Um, so I got a new package today. I wasn't planning on purchasing any more leopard geckos, but uh, <laughs> I really was offered an amazing deal. Uh, the shipment was supposed to be here at 10.30 a.m. Uh, however, weather, inclement weather, whatever they want to call it, uh, caused huge delays. Um, has nothing to do with the breeder or anything like that. Uh, it was very stressful. I probably called FedEx four times. They called me one more time. So I talked to FedEx like five times today. Last time I talked to them, I demanded to talk to somebody higher up because everybody was giving me just like, I don't know. I, I don't know where your package is. It, it's somewhere. Uh, couldn't deal with that. Couldn't handle it like that. It's not like it was just like a normal package. It's a living thing. Uh, so I demanded to talk to somebody higher up. I was very polite about it, of course. And they promptly contact, uh, got me con in contact with this really nice guy. And he put me on hold for a little bit to co contact the actual guy on the ground and got back to me and he's like, all right, 20 minutes. Uh, no lie, within 20 minutes it was here, um, the package was. It's right there, it's already opened up because I had to make sure that what's inside was still alive because they actually had a layover basically for five hours in Memphis, Tennessee at temperatures of 31 degrees Fahrenheit. So I was really scared. They were coming from California to North Carolina. So I was really worried about their health, obviously. So long story short, I waited around all day long. I didn't even eat. Uh, I was just stressing out, waiting. I kept refreshing my FedEx tracking information and talking with the breeder who was very supportive. By the way, the breeder is Golden Valley Reptiles in California. Um, they are GV Reptiles on Instagram. That's where I found them and saw the quality of the animals they have. And I saw them post something uh, just like what? I think like two nights ago of something really impressive. And um, I even posted on their Instagram. I said something like, yeah, um, I can't afford that. I can tell just by looking at it that I cannot afford it. Uh, he contacted me back and he's like, I don't know, DM me and find out. So I did. Found out that I could afford it. Uh, I mean, obviously, price. Okay, so how do I want to say this? A quality animal deserves a quality price. They were still expensive to somebody that just wants a pet leopard gecko uh, because I think you can get them at the pet stores for like 25 bucks. But if you're interested in quality genetics, quality breeding, um, and being able to know the background of your leopard geckos, um, definitely go with a breeder that knows what they're talking about and um, make sure that they you know, can trace back the lineage and everything. He proved all of that to me, and I was extremely impressed. Uh, so <laughs> I actually told him I was going to sleep on it, and then I looked into the information he provided to me, and I was like, nope, I'm going to buy them now. So long story short, there's two leopard geckos in this box. The reason I opened it, like I said, was to make, the, make sure they were alive. I was really worried that they were going to be too cold. There was a nice heat pack in there, and it's actually still warm. Um, I think they got here at like 3, 3 p.m. They were supposed to be here at 10.30 a.m. And he packed still warm. He did an amazing job. Uh, they're very healthy. You can tell that they're a little stressed because I can guarantee you they were jostled, jostled around a lot in shipment. But um, I got to let them acclimate so they cannot go into their their new homes right away. Um, they need to get adjusted to the temperature in my house, which is around like 75, actually it's 76 degrees I can see right now. So, um, yeah. So without further ado, I think in California they have a rule where they have to open up the package or something like that. I, I, I can't verify this completely, but I did watch an unboxing video or a breeder was sending out leopard geckos or something like that. And Sometimes they have to open up the packages before they can fully ship them out to the customers. 
um, and make sure they're actually what they say they are. So this was inside the box. It says harmless non-venomous live reptile in secure packaging inside shipped according to FedEx guidelines and policies. So that was really cool. This is like legit. Uh, I don't know. I'm just really excited. Completely legit stuff. Um, this is probably just my invoice. I haven't even looked at it yet. Oh, yeah, it's my invoice and it also says enjoy. Thanks. <laughs> no, thank you. Um, so, like I said, they're very stressed out. You can tell that they've been through a lot. So I don't want to stress them out too much. I haven't opened up their containers. I haven't done anything to them. I just made sure they were moving and alive. So, like I said, this is Golden, Golden Valley Reptiles. So this was the guy that, um, this was the guy that I thought was going to be too much for me. I knew it's very hard to see him. You can see from all the marks on the container, he's been through a lot. Um, lesson learned from this is I need to pay more attention to the weather. And I was very aware that there was a storm coming down um, from Alaska. But for some dumb reason, I thought I would be lucky. And um, I mean, I was. They're good because of, because of an experienced chipper. Um, they're good. But they did not deserve the treatment that they got. It is no one's fault. I, I should have asked to hold off on shipment for a little bit, but I wasn't thinking. <sighs> I just got too excited. So anyhow, this is a Mel Tangerine Blood Cross. Um, He's 37 grams. His birthday was July 20th of this year. So I'm going to open them up right now. I'm pretty excited. And you're probably going to be jumpy. And I don't blame you. Come here, buddy. I know. Come here. Oh, oh, oh. Come here. Hi, buddy. Hi, gorgeous. Oh, did you give me a kiss? See if I can get a good focus on him. I have HD, so wait, where are you going? Where are you going? I know you got poop on your toes, huh? Look, wait, if I can show you. Hold on, I know, I know, I know. And he's not very cold right now, which is great. He's acclimating up. Look at that carrot tail, guys. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, yeah, if you want to get quality genetics from a very passionate breeder. I would definitely talk to Golden Valley Reptiles. Uh, he knows what he's doing. I really honestly never thought that I was going to be able to get a blood tangerine cross. Uh, like I said, I wasn't planning on getting any more. <laughs> I was just planning on working with what I already had. But he was he's absolutely worth it. Um, he really needs to relax, the poor thing. And you see, for the focus, 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 focus. Sorry, I'm trying to make this focus. It's refusing to because I'm in the way. Let's see. Yes, no, maybe. My head's. Okay, let me see if I can do it. <laughs> Nothing's working. There we go. Sort of. Okay, I give up. Um, I will be posting pictures on Instagram once uh, once they're settled in, once they're relaxed, and um, but this isn't going to cause them too much stress. They've been through a lot. Uh, he needs a good bath after he's relaxed to get some of that dried poo off of him. Poor baby. But look at his little toes. You poor guy. You've been through so much. But the amount of uh, <laughs> hypotangerine blood that you can see in him is amazing already. And he's, he's nowhere near comfortable temperatures right now. And I mean, they do change color. They're not like chameleons, but they do change color a little bit when they're stressed, um, especially when temperatures are changed and everything. Just like you don't feel good. Like right now I have allergies, so... Um, I have like major dark circles under my eyes and I like plastered makeup on my face for this. But uh, yeah, um, I couldn't be any more happy. This was exactly what the picture showed. I got exactly what 
was advertised. So, and I, I haven't had a problem with that. I mean, every breeder I've got from Sassabeck, um, Gecko Boa, every, every breeder I've got from, oh, and Ember Gecko as well. That was, that's my favorite male so far. And this little guy may be another favorite male of mine. I just don't know his personality yet. But, um, yeah, they've all sold me exactly what was advertised. They, you know, that's what I love. Like when you go to a pet store, for one, you don't know their genetics. And for another, um, you can't guarantee much. I don't, I don't know how to explain it other than that. I just trust breeders more than I would trust a pet store that does not know their history. Um, so here's the other great deal part of my purchases. Uh, on Instagram, I only said I was getting one, but I actually was getting two. But I don't know much about the, this genetic this genetic morph yet, but I've always been fascinated by it. Uh, amazing deal. That's all I can say. Amazing deal. Thank you so much, Golden Valley. Um, amazing. So this is a solid eye raptor and it's temperature sex, sex to be a female. She was born August 24th of this year. Um, let me take the tape off here. <laughs> when I opened the box and saw that they were okay and saw how beautiful they were, I almost cried. So I'm actually glad that I did not unbox completely on cam because I probably would have been embarrassed. So I composed myself before I got on here. Um, girl or boy, I, I mean, it's temperature sex to be a female. I don't care if it's a male or a female, honestly. Gorgeous. Uh, absolutely gorgeous. Um, just a little baby. Like I said, it's a solid eye. I, I gotta try and let you guys get to see this. I need it to focus. I gotta get out of the cam. The bright lights are hurting her. Oh, I'm sorry, Bob. I'm sorry, Bob. Yeah. Oh, it's so hard to focus. I mean, it's meant for who's ever on cam, not to show close-ups of cute little leopard geckos, but uh, uh, she's amazing. She or he, I'm just gonna say she for now because that's what she's temperature sex to be as a girl. Um, I really wish I could show better quality. I mean, that's a good focus. Look at that tail, look at the color. And she's squinting just because of the light. Their eyes are a lot more sensitive when they're raptors. That's one thing I do know um, from seeing pictures and everything, that that definitely does affect pictures and stuff. They always look like they're squinting. But the eyes are amazing up close. You're beautiful. I, I don't know names for them yet. Uh, but all I can say is, wow. <laughs> I, I couldn't be happier. I am so happy. Like I said, I'm glad I was not on cam when I opened that box and saw that they were alive and saw what they looked like and stuff. Um, it's amazing. They are beautiful. I don't know why I keep trying. This is this is a lost cause. Oh oh oh! Hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. Oh oh, you're okay. Just one more time, at least of her body. Like I said, I will update. I think I said already. I know I said on Instagram. Um, I will update pictures once they're all situated, warmed up, and have a little bit of a bath. Um, they've been tossing around a little bit. Um, and for anybody viewing in, I'm pretty sure I've said this before in my past video. Um, if you think it's cruel that animals are shipped, just realize that when you go into a pet store, those animals were shipped as well, unless they're private pet stores where they buy locally. If you're going to a big chain store like PetSmart, Petco, um, they were shipped in from very far away. Also had the same shipping conditions and, in my experience, worse. 
they usually come dead. That's why they buy so many, so that at least some live to be sold to make a profit. Um, breeders that are actually passionate, they want people to have quality animals. They want to make sure that they get to you. Um, and so many breeders will tell you, it doesn't matter what animal it is, what kind of species it is. Um, they don't make money on this. This is a hobby. This is something they enjoy doing. And it's exactly the same for me. I have not bred anything yet. Um, I'm just starting out. I now have six leopard geckos, I think. Wait. Miso, Zeppelin, Suki, uh, Tigra, and these two. Yeah, six. Okay, I had to make sure. Oh, wait, and Jersey. Seven? Okay, I have six or seven. Yeah, maybe I'm counting wrong. I don't know. I'm just really excited right now. I have a lot, a lot of amazing animals. And um, if you want to get into leopard geckos, if you're fascinated with genetics, if you're fascinated with morphs, you want to work with reptiles, I highly recommend leopard geckos. Uh, they're pretty awesome. They don't want you to handle them all the time. Some of them do become really tame, um, but you, you need to respect them. They're nocturnal. Respect the fact that they're nocturnal. Um, what else can I say? Um, I am going to put into the description um, Golden Valley Reptiles, um, his Instagram, and um, anything else I can think of that's cool to let you guys know about, like my Instagram as well. Um, that's the only thing I have right now is Instagram. That's only because I, I don't feel that there's a reason for me to have like a Facebook page or a website just yet because I'm not breeding. Not, not yet. There, a lot of them are, sorry, hiccup and burp at the same time. Um, a lot of them are too young to breed yet and it's not breeding season for my guys yet. Some breeders can breed year round. Uh, most of mine are too young to do that. And I've only been collecting for a few months now, so it's going to be a little bit. But I actually bought my feeder animals before I even bought my first leopard gecko. And um, to update you on my other guys, Zeppelin from Ember Geckos is looking amazing. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you will see how amazing he's getting. Um, Ember Geckos has amazing animals as well in many different morphs. Um, very easy to work with. Every breeder I've purchased from so far is so easy to work with. Um, you get exactly what you pay for. Um, uh, Suki from, wait, which one is Suki from? I'm trying to think. Okay, Suki's from Sasebeck. I got her in an auction. She's doing great as well. Um, she was already pretty much fully mature, so she's not going to change too, too much. Um, she did gain some grams. She's almost breeding weight now. Um, she's not there just yet. I actually do need to weigh them. I think I'm going to weigh them on Monday and see their updated grams and everything. But she did she did gain a few decent grams finally after a little while. I had her for a while and I was worried she wasn't eating. She's finally eating. You know, it's just stress of being transported and coming into a new place and stuff. Um... And then from Gecko Boa, I got Tigra, which I didn't do an update video on them. I was going to, but I actually did a video on that unboxing for Ember Gecko. But I was so confused that the video made absolutely no sense. Um, Gecko Boa was extremely clear on what happened. I just completely read it wrong. So I was like so confused with what I got. But... Um, like I said, it was all my fault. I was not paying attention to the identification of each animal that, you know, I ordered. And then silliness happened. He was completely amazing with it. So from Ember, no, from uh, Gecko Bella, I got Tigra. She's a tangerine, uh, a super hypo tangerine carrot tail baldy as well. I mean, on his side, it just says she's a tangerine. But in my opinion, in my novice opinion, she's a super hypo tangerine carrot tail body. Um, I also got from him Miso, who is my, um, I, I think he would be considered a normal morph, but he carries, he's Het Ember um, crossed with a 
black pearl slash charcoal. Um, so there's no, I'm assuming there's no guarantees that he can produce the dark morph of the dark project, but I got him just in the chance that I can play around with it and just see. Um, I really don't mind if that doesn't happen because I've seen that with the dark projects, it's a big pain in the butt so far. And I know that there's breeders out there that they're under the radar right now for, for a very good reason. They don't want everybody to know what they're doing yet. They don't want to advertise something that they're not sure about. So, um, but I'm excited to play along, see if I can get anywhere. Um, but that's the name of the game when it comes to genetics, especially genetics that people aren't very familiar with, especially here in the U.S. So, I don't know, I'm just going to play with it. And then I also got from Gecko Boa Jersey, who is a uh, Max No. Um, she's het for Eclipse, and, um, she might be a, she's potential to be a super giant or something like that. I don't know. I'd have to look. Um, I have all that information on my Instagram though. So like I said, down in the description, I'm going to put the breeder that I got these two from, which is the tangerine cross with the blood and the solid eye raptor temperature sex female. So, <laughs> uh, thank you again, Golden Valley Reptiles. Um, amazing shipping packing job. Wow. Uh, they're good. They're good. They're just a little stressed. They'll be fine. Um, I'm going to let them acclimate, like I said, before I put them in their homes and let them re relax for a few hours. And if they look like they're comfortable a little bit later, I'll get them out and take some pictures and post them to my Instagram. All right. Thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, you can subscribe if you'd like. I would love it if you follow me on Instagram, if you have an Instagram um, app or whatever they're called. Um, I love taking pictures of my guys. I love seeing pictures of your leopard geckos. Uh, it's just fun getting to network with all of you different breeders and your different passions in the morphs and also seeing like other animals you raise. Uh, it's pretty neat. So, um, Thank you guys for viewing, and sorry there was a lot of blurries going on here. Like I said, the Instagram pictures will be a lot better once they're relaxed and everything. So thank you guys, and I'll see you later.